Long-time viewers of the channel may be familiar with this lovable chunk, but today I'd like to introduce to you another charming and somewhat insane Sony appliance. It's the Sony CDP-CX355, a 300 disc stacker from Sony's mega storage line of products. While this model is just for playing compact discs, there also exists a model for DVDs, and another insane 400 disc stacker for Blu-rays too. But how exactly does it stack 300 CDs? Well, I'm glad you asked. Basically, with an enormous donut-shaped rack and a rather complex loading mechanism driven by belts that wear out and snap from time to time. It is these belts that we are replacing today. So if that's of interest to you, or if you're just bored, why not get yourself a cup of tea or a beer if that's more your thing? And join us as we replace some rubber bands in this old Sony stacker. lazy part of me at first, not wanting to dismantle the entire stacker, attempted to replace the belts with tweezers. This proved rather ineffective rather quickly. Accepting my fate, that I would now need to dismantle the entire stacker, I turned to YouTube for help. I found guidance in a wonderful tutorial by YouTube user Hector R. Hector, wherever you are, us owners of these Sony stackers owe you a great debt. With Hector R's guidance on my computer screen, it didn't take long to find my way into the stacker. I did want to pause halfway through though to show you the rather complicated but intriguing mechanism that opens the front door of the stacker. Just look at it, it's somewhat beautiful. Panning over to the CD loading mechanism, and you can begin to see the source of the problem. So here's the culprit after all that disassembly. You have two belts, and basically they come on here, another one on here, and the Sony ones break eventually. You have to sort of replace them. Now you really should get a proper belt for them, but you can use rubber bands if you're cheap like me and you're willing to take apart the CD stacker every now and then to put new ones in. Um, but yeah, let's pop those in and see how we go. With some new rubber bands fitted, it was time for a test drive, or a test spin, or a test play, or a test rotation, okay, what, whatever you call the test run of a CD stacker. Grabs the disc. Grabs the disc. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh no! After one disc change, it appeared that I did put the bands on wrong, as one of them slipped off, which then meant a second round 
of disassembly. So after putting the band back on again, we are functioning, but I'm gonna order some proper Sony ones because I think these rubber bands do not last long. Um, so you can really see that when we move our light over here and we focus it right on that rubber band. And you can see really how, how worn it gets if I just go and change the disc here. So if I move over to say this, this disc here, Rush, you'll get to see the stress that rubber band's gonna be under. You can see it's still running. Let's have another look at the disc change here. Better get my tweezers out of the way. And here it goes. And then it stops just there. So, yeah, there you go. We're up and running again. We have Rush playing. Sounds fantastic. This video is a weird one for me to make because I filmed it in a very different chapter of life and just haven't gotten around to editing it until now. It's actually somewhat emotional because I miss this chapter of life. While things are fine now, they are definitely more complicated. This video reminds me of a time when Life was as simple as just spending time with the people I loved and taking an entire afternoon to tinker with an old piece of tech. In terms of the stacker itself, these old Sony stackers are fantastic if you are someone who has a huge CD collection. They have lots of features, digital output to use them with a good DAC, and a keyboard input to name your CDs with ease. You can even put in a modern disc with CD text, and they'll save the album name, so you won't even need to type it in. They are cool products, fascinating really, and I bought mine in a stage of life where I was getting really into listening to entire albums from start to finish. CDs are still a great way to do this, and there is something really special about holding a physical album in your hand without having to pay the price of vinyl. Although that's a whole nother conversation entirely, vinyl has its own benefits. If you are interested in one of these stackers, they are wonderful. Just make sure you're comfortable with opening it up and replacing the bands every now and then. Let me know how you felt about this video in the comments below. And please let me know if you are someone who owns more than 300 CDs. I'd love to hear from someone who actually has enough CDs to fill one of these. I remember buying this one so fully confident that I was going to fill it. I think I only made it to about 70 CDs before going back to streaming music. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little episode and uh, thanks again for watching and good night.